Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. So we all know that recently Sonam Kapoor got married. She's a Bollywood celebrity. She is very, very well known for her style. But in her wedding, she was very, very simple yet traditional. She was wearing a red lehenga and a red dupatta. And she was wearing beautiful jewelries. But her makeup was very, very minimal and simple. So I try to recreate her makeup. <laughs> Please don't kill me, okay? This is not a look-alike makeup tea tutorial this is an inspired makeup tutorial so i was inspired by her and i have created this look i hope you will like it if you like this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and without a further ado let's get into the video so starting with my eyebrows here i am using my l'oreal brow pomade and my shade is ebony i have chosen the dark color here i'm making some small strokes front part of my eyebrow and then i'm drawing my eyebrow as you can see that Sonoms has a very defined and black eyebrow that's why I'm using the shade ebony and then I'm gonna carve out my eyebrows with the help of a concealer here I'm using makeup revolution conceal and define concealer and the shade is c7 and i'm using my mac concealer brush for this and also i am applying this concealer on my eyelid it's gonna act as a eye base and then i'm setting my eye base with mac patrick star loose powder now i'm gonna apply some eye patches under my eye area this gonna help me to keep my eye area very hydrated because my areas are dry and i have some dark circle and wrinkles so this gonna also help me to reduce them today i'm going to do my eye makeup with makeup revolution flawless 4 palette first i'm going to take pink eyeshadow from here and with a morphe brush i am going to apply this on my crease this is gonna act like a transition color I'm using this pink eyeshadow because when I saw Sonam's photo, it looks like she has some pink and brown eyeshadow going on on her, you know, crease area. So that's why I'm applying this. And after blending this eyeshadow, I'm going to apply some brown eyeshadow from the same palette. And I'm going to blend in this on my crease area again. Then I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this on the outer corner of my eyes. As you can see in this picture, Sonom has some smoky eyes going on on her eye makeup. That's why I'm using that black eyeshadow. And here I'm blending the eyeshadow again. And I'm applying the black eyeshadow again to re-intensify the color. And here I'm blending everything together with my Morphe blending brush. Then I'm taking a golden eyeshadow and I'm applying this on my eyelid and here I'm using my finger to re-intensify the color she didn't use any sort of glitter I guess so that's why my eye makeup is done here and now I am going to apply a eyeliner here I'm using my NYX matte eyeliner on her wedding picture I saw she had very small wing eyeliner that's why I'm keeping my wing very small here Her makeup is all about a face, a very very glowing and natural face. That's why first I'm going to use a illuminator. This is the iconic illuminator and my shade is original and I'm applying this on my cheekbone. I'm applying this a little bit on my nose area and forehead. And then I'm blending this with my Morphe beauty sponge. And now I'm going to do some color correcting on my face to hide my dark circle and my pigmentation. So first I'm using Elegar Orange Concealer. I'm applying this on my eye area, around my nose area and around my mouth area. And I saw this picture of Sonom a while back where her makeup artist was doing color correcting on her. And actually she is trying to say that no one is perfect, everyone needs color correcting. So in this picture I can see she had applied some orange corrector and some yellow corrector. So I'm applying some yellow corrector from my LA Girl concealer on the top of my orange corrector and then I'm blending everything together with my Morphe sponge. Today I'm going to use a stick foundation from Makeup Revolution and this is the Makeup Revolution first base foundation. They're very very pigmented. Here I'm using number F1 and F10. So first I'm applying the F10 all over on my face, mostly the outer part of my face and then I'm going to apply the F1 which is the lightest shade and I'm applying these on my cheekbone, on my nose, on my forehead, a um, little bit on my 
chin and here I'm applying this just under my contour line and on my nose and then I'm blending everything together with my black original beauty blender. And now I'm going to set my foundation with my MAC Patrick Star Loose Powder. You can use any loose powder or any face powder of your choice. And here I'm using my uh, Damp Beauty Blender again. Now I'm going to finish my eye makeup. Here I am applying a little bit cold pencil on my waterline because I saw Sonam has a little bit kajal on her waterline. Not too crazy. Her under eye area is very very simple. So that's why I'm just applying a little bit kajal and then I'm going to smudge this with a small pencil brush. Then I'm going to do some contouring here. I am contouring my cheekbone and I'm going to contouring my forehead and my nose and my jawline as well. Sonam didn't do any kind of crazy or sharp contouring on her wedding day. She kept her contouring very very subtle and very blended. By the way, here I'm using my Zoeva contour kit for this look. Now I'm taking these two pink blushes from this L'Oreal palette and I'm going to apply this on my cheeks because Sonam Kapoor had very very pink blush on her cheeks that's why I try to mimic that and now I'm going to apply some highlighter on my cheekbone on the bridge of my nose from the same palette and here I am curling my eyelashes and now I'm going to apply some mascara this mascara is from Primer. this is very very reasonable price mascara but it's very very good and I'm applying this on my upper lashes and my lower lashes and then I'm going to apply some false lashes these false lashes are from house of lashes and the style is mousse it's very very natural lashes because Sonam was wearing a very natural false lashes and now I'm setting my makeup with the Too Faced setting spray so I was checking Sonam's picture basically I was trying to figure out that what color of lipstick she is wearing in some picture it looks like she is wearing very very pink lipstick and in some picture it looks like she's wearing red type of lipstick it's not super duper red okay so actually I reached out for my Anastasia lip palette and here I am applying a red lipstick first and then I am applying a dusty red mauve type of lipstick so this red lipstick and then I apply this lipstick on top of that so yeah here I am literally done uh, it looks like yeah we have similar lipstick I don't know maybe <laughs> So yeah, here I'm done all dressed up with a red sari and a pink dupatta and yeah, I don't have a same jewelry that she has. And please let me know in the comment down below what kind of tutorial you want to see next. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And you can follow me on all of my social medias, which are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. See you all in my next tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.